Hey everybody, well if you couldn't tell, I literally, from the last video, this is the next time I've been in the garage, uh, and it's been a week I think. Uh, a lot of stuff has been happening in the past week I didn't know was going to happen, it's all very very good stuff, and you'll find out about that in the future. But since that video I have done more work, because when I left off I was testing out this um, attachment and I actually found it pretty good. Although what I will say is the bearing in here is not the highest uh, quality and it's got a bit of a wobble already. But it's just press fit in there, so I'm pretty sure if you've got the same size bearing uh, you could put a decent one in there and it would fix that problem. Now, oh, yes, here's a disc I was working on before I dropped tools. But I did get a quite a lot of work done that day. Uh, cleaned up these discs. These are interesting because you can almost see the copper coming through. Uh, well, it looks like a coppery colour. Yeah, it's most obvious on that one. Can you see the... I am assuming that there is some sort of copper underneath. Uh, but yeah, it's it's weird. Oh, see so that one. And this is the other bandit disc which I'm turning into a clock and someone was going to buy this. It was, a, it was a fireman actually. He said... It was about one o'clock in the morning or something, and he was about to buy the, the, the one that I made before for using the same disc. Um, and he was called out on a fire, and when he came home, home, it already sold. So maybe you'll grab it this time. So yeah, I've cleaned up all of those, and I've made the templates um, for all of them to cut out from the sheet metal. And then they're the things to help center it. You've seen me do that in the past. But the main reason I'm making this video is what's arrived in this box. Uh, this is actually from Chase on Two Wheels. Um, this is basically the channel sprockets off of the bike he's doing a rep bike rebuild at the moment, the ZX-10R. I believe that'll be... I don't know, I'm going to have to work out what goes with what. Uh, basically, I am making a clock for him that he's going to be giving away or what someone's winning. Um, just trying to work out what goes with what here. Uh, that someone's winning uh, to do with the patron and everything to do with rep bike rebuild. Anyway, uh, this is the chain. That's got to be... A, oh my god, that's rusty. Okay, Chase, which is off of what? We'll call this one A, B, C, D, E, and um, F. If you can say what each one was off, then I can get them together. So when I make this thing, I've got the right bits together. <laughs> But yeah, basically I'm going to be turning these into a clock. I will be doing videos on that, but I don't think I'm releasing those till Chase does his giveaway part of it. So that will happen soon, but you won't see it for a while. But yeah, thank you Chase, I've received them. Can you just let me know which ones go together and I'll get on and get those done. In fact, we need to have a chat. <laughs> just kidding, he didn't send rocks. Right, I had this arrive, um, and I've had this a couple of days now. I've not been able to open it. It's from Amazon, directly to the P.O. Box. There is the P.O. Box, if you want to send me anything. I don't know what's in here. Let's find out. Let's just hope it's no more chilies. Please, no chilies. Let's me start with some digital calipers. Yes. They return to zero nicely. See, I've got some digital calipers. But I don't trust them because they very rarely go back to zero like this. <laughs> Thank you very much. That means I've got a, uh, a cheapo don't care about them set and a, a nice set. That's very, very nice of you. Thank you. And it comes with an extra battery. And then you can screwdriver for, oh, for changing the battery. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Whoever... Oh, hang on. You got a note? Found the note, uh, a gift from Philip E. Pavelin. Thanks for the videos, hope this comes in handy. Yes, it really does, thank you. As I say, I don't trust mine um, in the slightest. So, they certainly are working better than mine did out of the box. <laughs> so basically, that's all I needed to cover in this video. Um, I like to open the, when people send me things, I like to do it on camera and do it in a promptly fashion. Um, but I now need to get on and make clocks. As I've shown you before in the video, you know, I stick these on sheet metal, cut them out, do all the hand brushing and all that stuff, the lacquering, drill the holes, um, and then 
these are the centers which are made to help me refine the center when it comes to putting them together. You've seen a video on that. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Thanks to anyone who supports this channel. It really is appreciated. Uh, sorry there isn't so many Metalworks videos. Um, as I may have, you may have seen in my recent Q&A, basically making the next sculpture has kind of got on hold. Only slightly. I want to make the little mini one and do that as a really quick thing. Um, but like a bigger one, it needs time put into it and my model of the way that I work, I make more money if I make clocks and I'm on a, a bit of a knife edge so I can't, I'm, I kind of found myself thinking was that a good idea to go down that road. I'd love to do it but I think making making sure I've got plenty of clocks um, is better for me really because that's what supports me and at the end of the day if I can't support myself I can't do this and the whole thing falls apart. But I will definitely do more in the future, I've just got to find a way of doing it around other things uh, but I'll still be able to film it in a way that it doesn't seem all disjointed and weird. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Thank you to Philip. That was really kind of you. Um, and they are going to be very handy, I'm sure. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. This channel is made possible by the support of the audience. Please check out the links in the description and all the different ways you can help support the channel. Any help is greatly appreciated.